Welcome back everyone and we are here. Today we have this Android TV box for my kids. They want me to repair it for them because they want actually to retrieve, they want to watch uh, some videos that they are having inside. And believe me, it's very long time now they are asking me to repair it for them. I couldn't find the time. They also have given me this, thinking that this will help me in order to repair it for them, okay? Anyways, according to what they have said, that the power inlet jack here is damaged. I don't know which one, because it's not written. It must, must be this one, maybe. I don't know. So they want me to fix it for them. Okay, so, this must be 5.5 multiplied by 2.1 millimeters. Uh, DC female jack. It's very known for the TV boxes. Okay. So let's go ahead, guys, and repair this. And because this is an educational channel, we are going to explain the details about the chipset inside this device. If the problem is only the jack, power jack, then we can solve it even if we don't have a replacement. We are pretty much can actually extend a wire from here if we find the original adapter. Otherwise, I'm going to search right now for another uh, old TV box because they uh, pretty much have the same sizes because we want to replace it if we find it. All right, and I found this old uh, TV box and apparently it has the power jack here. And as I said, it is 5.5 millimeters multiplied by 2.1 famous uh, power jack. We are going to open this one, extract the power jack and install it here. So first of all, let's go ahead and open this device. Okay, apparently we have to open these screws so that we can actually unlock what is inside. Okay, now we can open easily. Here we go. We have the device and I have no idea what is this for. It's only a metal. Ah, this now is uh, very clear that it is actually to absorb the heat of the processor here. We will actually learn about this kind of process. So let's talk about the chipset of a TV box or any TV box. So let's just start with the processor. This is a Logic S905X family processor. It is used for all necessary uh, applications and uh, operations of the uh, TV box. We have the RAM. Two modules, each one is four gigabytes, and there are also additional two at the back. In total, we will get 16 gigabytes as RAM. The storage memory, or the embedded MMC card, embedded multimedia card. This is NAND flash memory, where you store everything regarding the uh, uh, operating system, Android operating system, your pictures, your applications, your firmware, everything there are NAND and there is also NOR NOR is not OR and NAND is actually not AND this is actually a type of two flash memories from Toshiba this is NAND EMMC okay this is a power regulator ship to take care of all necessary requirements of voltages and uh, amperes for the 
running of the multiple functions of the processor. Finally, there is the Wi-Fi dual band chip. It also has a Bluetooth 4.2 combo module. It is 6221B UCC. Now, let's check that our replacement is, is the same plug or not. Yeah, but not the same, unfortunately. It is not the same. Now that we don't have a replacement plug for this damaged plug, so we try to figure out how we can fix it. If we can fix it, it's just like this. I don't know if you can see. So this is the part that the children have given me, thinking that they are helping me into fixing the problem. So okay, it's all like this. I inserted that part given to me by the boy. The boy was right when he gave me this part. It's the positive part. This part here, you can see. And I inserted actually it has a place. Okay. Then there is actually a leg for it. Extension that you can actually solder here. And that's what I did actually. I soldered it on that side. This is what I did actually. I think I will close the box without testing, but I also modify the adapter. It becomes like this now. You can see. Good, and it should work. Let's go ahead and reassemble it. Okay, I'll give it to the boys now. It should work. Thank you.